Hi, Bright Church. Um, have you ever been in a situation where you wanted a vehicle or owned a vehicle, and then when you start driving around the neighborhood, you start to recognize that car everywhere? When I was in middle school, my brother um, got a new car, and it was a Mitsubishi Eclipse. And for me, when he pulled up or the car came to the garage, I've never seen this car before. And I was like, man, this is an amazing sports car. It had the big, nice body. It had the spoiler kits and everything. And I was like, wow, I've never seen this kind of car. This is an amazing car. And then when he fixed it up and gave me a ride in it, as I began to drive around with my parents and just going to and fro, I start seeing this car everywhere. And I'm like, man, everybody has a Mitsubishi Eclipse. I see this car everywhere now. And it's interesting, did all of a sudden everyone go and buy the same kind of car after my brother uh, went and bought this car? No, and I'm sure you had the same uh, idea when you went out and bought a vehicle or were looking at or, or you know, prospecting a kind of a vehicle you start to recognize that car everywhere and you're like, well, this, I see this car everywhere now. And I think what happens is our focus changes uh, uh, our perspective. And now the thing that we are focused or recognize on, we recognize it everywhere. And Paul, in his letter to Colossians, is speaking on this same idea. Uh, the Colossians uh, chapter 1 and 2, he's talking about the things of Jesus and what he's done for us. And then in chapter 3, he starts uh, saying, well, what does that mean practically? How do we do these things practically? And he says, seeking the things that are above. And I'll read it. It's Colossians 3 verses 1. If you then... He's talking to the people, to the believers, um, to the church in Colossians. If you then have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right, hands of, at the right hand of God. And the part I want to focus on is seeking the things that are above. I mean, if we look at it, we all can say, that we've been raised with Christ. And maybe a lot of us as believers, you know, we, we understand I've been raised with Christ. I've, I've repented. I've been baptized. I'm going to church. But sometimes we feel like, oh, you know, this church, it, it doesn't have the right people. Or, you know, this church is nice, but sometimes the music is a little lame or, or it's different. It's not what I like. Or, you know, uh, I'm, I, I'm getting like this. I, I don't feel this welcoming. Um, and and we, we start to see like, okay, how are other people not seeing this? And it might be that our focus, we focusing on ourselves instead of focusing on what the church is supposed to be. Because if we take the focus off ourselves, we start to realize, well, maybe I can help in this, in this department and make this better. Or maybe I'm supposed to go to church not just to be as a receiver, but also as a giver. And maybe um, I come to church to serve with my talents rather than just criticize. And all of a sudden, we see how we can be a benefit to the church. And the church is actually a place where we can use our gifts. Um, you know, the same example can go for maybe if you listen to Christian bands or, you know, in your lifetime. Some people would listen to a band and they're like, well, this is crazy rock and roll. What in the world is going on here? And somebody else is like, wow, that was amazing worship. And it's like, well, how can, the, how can one band give the same um, or s uh, different perspectives to people? Well, if you're focusing on the guy's hairstyle and his guitar rhythms and how lo loud the drummer's hitting the drums, then your perspective is going to be different than if you're li listening to the lyrics 
and recognizing yourself in the lyrics. You know, hey, I'm worshiping God and I remember how God saved me and, and praise God, I remember how that verse applies into my life. And it's not that the band changed, your focus changed and it gave you a different perspective into the band or the worship experience. And I think um, we sometimes as believers need to remember that our focus impacts our perspective. And this is why uh, Paul says, seek things that are above. Don't look at the, for example, back to the worship example, don't look at the people there and just what they're wearing and stuff. That Look at the perspective that's heavenly. Man, what are those people singing about? Well, these people practice, you know, multiple times a week to come and serve the church. Praise God for that. So, it, we will have this new, it says, a new way, a new way to understand. We've been raised with Christ. Now, our thoughts and our focus will be new. And we will look to see church as a place that's different, not just to come in and criticize but look at and see how we can serve people, how we can use our talents. And I mean, if we want to see things from, it says, if you've then been raised with Christ, then if we apply that knowledge to, to our faith, if we've been raised with Christ, then how about if we want to switch our perspective, we start looking at the things as Jesus would want us to see. I mean, we focus, if we stay focused on Jesus, we will begin to see things the way that Jesus sees. Uh, just a couple examples. Um, Jesus served the church. When we, we uh, look at how Jesus served the church, we will begin to see, well, you know what? I'm not here to get satisfied only. I'm also here to serve church because Jesus served the church. Um, Jesus loved, forgave people. You know, and, and again, when we focus on, well, how come this person didn't say sorry? How come this person didn't do this? Or, hey, I, that person didn't ask for forgiveness and things of that nature. But we look at what Jesus did. We switch our perspective and say, you know what? Jesus loved people that didn't want nothing to do with him. And he sh showed kindness to people that didn't even say thank you. Um, you know, and Jesus saw opportunities to minister. He would take time with people to take away, um, you know, time from his own duties to go and spend time with people. And then we will have that opportunity if we focus on things that are from Jesus's perspective. So I guess a, a, just a quick example of, of this verse being applied to action, as Paul is saying, is if we've been raised with Christ, if we've been raised with Jesus, then we need to look at the things not just as we were before with a critical eye or with a judging kind of a, 